for the five gift subs. Um, listen, we are going to play some uh, Minecraft on my cool server, a safe haven for dads, just like we did yesterday. Um, let's see what's changed here. It's not looking like an awful lot has changed, which is fine. It's fine. It looks like um, our friend Northern Lion has put up some safety railings for the lava pit. Very nice. Um, some more clearing has been done, and it looks like somebody has started to build what looks like quite a deep mine. Let's see how deep this one goes. He's done a good job here, actually. This is good. This is what you want. Did he find any, uh, any good stuff down here? Did you guys tell him to go down to, like, level 11 or so? Let's see where you guys got him to stop. It looks like he made progress to about level 27. Good effort. Good effort. The head bonking is giving you a headache? Don't worry, we'll clean it up. Um, that's pretty good actually. We might have to fill this all in though because I think this is going to be the site for the town hall. But also, having said that at the same time, I don't really want to start wrecking other people's stuff, you know what I mean? This is a, it's meant to be a safe place for dads and moms to come and do only the sweetest builds and just have a nice time, not feel judged, and not feel like every time they log in, their stuff is going to be wrecked. You know what I mean? So I think that the town hall can be moved over slightly. Let's get rid of some more of this stuff. Where is he? Let's leave that there, and let's center the town hall around this portal that he's made, that he hasn't activated yet. I think that's a good idea, right? It's a ni nice compromise. It sounds like there's a skeleton like close by, but I'm not sure. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed right now. What's this? Hang on a second. <laughs> nice. Just got a picture of a pigeon sitting on a toy car that's in our backyard from my wife. My wife. My wife has sent me this picture. Can you believe that? Um, okay, let's start smelting up some of this stuff. Oh, he did get some iron. Oh, what a saucy lad. What a saucy lad. Okay, I'm going to, you know what? I'll replace his cache. Look, I've got to make a couple of tools here to make my life a little bit easier, right? Oh, that is saucy. Okay. That is good. Okay, let's get rid of some of this crap now. So we'll get rid of these these crappers and use these crappers instead, right? I made some advancements here. You know what's good about the lava? Check it out. Oops. Perfect. 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 That's what's good about lava, am I right? Just get rid of all the old shit. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we got some bone meal here uh, that we can use to make some dyes or whatnot. Uh, got a couple steaks. Got an apple. Uh, looks like we got some coal. Oh, hang on a second. Another old tool that we are not going to need. Whoop. Peace. It's gone. Nice. Oh, shit. You know what else I need to do? I need to make a shovel. If you got any plans to play Among Us with Ryan or Dan? Um, Dan has Will been in lobbies before. Be on the server? Not on stream, of course. He's, um, he's, um, half we's had him into lobbies before, so. Oh. Oh, I see. Look what he's done here. Okay, we're gonna replace this. We're gonna start, I'm gonna start clearing this out, and I'm gonna make the town hall at the center of the town hall will be this portal, okay? And then I can switch the, sw the spawn point. said that he hopes you like the portal, but if you don't, then he's gonna blame it on Dan because he doesn't want to spoil your relationship. Just no. two Canadian dads <laughs> having a bromance. It's just what 2021 needs. Less just two Canadian terrible. dads just, uh, just treading carefully around each other. I love that. I love that. It's very Canadian as well, isn't it? Very Canadian. I don't want to upset you in any way whatsoever okay right so we're gonna build the town hall around this okay i'll start uh, he's done a good job okay please please send my regards tell him that he's done a good job we want to like encourage 
We want to we want to keep it positive. He's got grass underneath grass here and stuff too. I don't know what what are these like joists that he's put under here. Does anybody know? And are they needed for anything? Oh, I see. Look, here's our little friend. Was this a problem yesterday for him? God. Come on, bitch. Whoa, yeah. You gotta wake up earlier in the morning than that. You dumb bitch. I got two kids. For fuck's sake. Nice. Got the last hit on him there too. Um, was he? Was that done um, as like? A, oh shit! I don't know what to do, so I'll just bury him. Cause I could hear him clanking around down there. You know, I'm seasoned. I'm a seasoned vet. Like I know. I know what to look out for when I'm in Minecraft. The late skeleton gets <laughs> gets the fire. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I hope he doesn't mind. I'm gonna make a couple of little changes here. Um, I'm gonna have to get oh You know what? I'm gonna make a design here, chat. I'm fucking going for it. If Dan logs on later, he's gonna fucking help me as well. Cause uh, this this town isn't gonna build itself. We need we need able-bodied young men and women, or other, to uh, to help us. Right? We're gonna need a lot of help with what we are planning on doing. We're not making a dome though. So don't get too excited, because we are going to make something circular, but it is not a dome, I repeat. Actually, you know what I should be doing? I should plant some uh, food so that I can attract some of these pigs and then breed them, right? For a more, a better food source. Maybe I'll find a spot to do this. Boo. Don't, don't start booing, chat. Don't you dare. This is not the time for a boo, okay? No boo. No boo. No boo. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any booing, okay? This is a happy time, please. Let me get rid of this mountain as well. I want lots of flat land here. Excuse me. Come on. Come on now. Um, yeah. I'm gonna grab all this coal. Um, God damn it. Iron shovel doesn't last very long, does it? Maybe I won't make another iron shovel. Let's just stick to the stone ones, I think. Storm the dome. Chat, I'm not making a dome, okay? But maybe I'll make like a half dome on the roof of the town hall. I got, I got visions. Some running water, like an inside river. Beams? Oh, pillars? Pillars and beams? Oh, man. I got huge ideas. Mr. Ideas, I, I've had shower thoughts about this chat. I was taking a shower thinking about it. Like, my the, the Minecraft creative juices are flowing big time. Trust me. Trust me. Town inside a dome. No, no, no. We don't hey, want a dome Sipsy, town. I'm yeah. guessing with this server, your sky factory is R.I.P.? I've resorted um, to watching all your Minecraft hardcore apps from a year ago. Really? Entertaining as hell. Thank you very much. Just watch this, okay? This is the new project, okay? In conjunction with other dads. This is just the start. We only started yesterday and already we've got some really sweet builds. We've got some really good resource collections here. Northern Lion has built a, a portal to the nether already. Not just that, though. He's also started digging a mine shaft, which we need. We need one. Um, we're going to get some automation in here as well. Like, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make, like, a, uh, a central sort of, like, resource drop-off area so that we can load up, like, a mine cart and then just fucking send it up and then empty it out into, into chests. And then, you know, people who join the server can just, like, grab resources from it or whatever. I don't think I'm going to go full sorting system this time, though. I think that's a bit much. You know what I mean? Do you guys mind? So I'm a communist. Yeah, pretty much I am, yeah. I fucking love social systems. Love them. Would, would finance them again. I think they're great. I also like, like, I, I like uh, big labor workforces as well. Communal ones. I think they're great. 
some stepped pyramids. Absolutely. Okay, let's see how we're doing over here. Let's eat this steak as well. We got some more meat to put on the Barbie. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's get an oven ready just to cook stuff up to eat. So a bit of coal, put some pork chops in there. That should be good. Uh, we also need to make um, a couple of shovels. That'll do. Just to get rid of all this stuff, right? No unions. No, no, no unions. Just an organized civilian labor force. Everybody gets one potato per day, three grains of sugar, and um, one bushel of wheat. You can do whatever you want with that wheat. You can use it for decoration, you can crush it up, and make some flour, some bread or whatever. Um, you can fucking light it on fire to warm up or whatever you want. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? The world is yours. gotta get rid of all this stuff I'm not sure about the portal placement but we'll run with it chat we'll figure it out okay it's meant to be an inclusive community so if somebody places a portal not exactly in the right spot we'll work around it okay we don't want anyone feeling like they're they're doing it wrong okay there's no there's no wrong way of doing stuff on this server we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it how many mountains are you going to eviscerate on this server? Every oh, single one that gets in my so fucking way. if you way. don't do a sorting system, your inventory management is going to make you rip your hairs out, and you got to be mindful of that. That's true. I'm running low, actually. It's it's true. Um, fucking tear my toupee right off. Unless I'm not a commie. No, no, I just said I am one. Big time. Love it. Okay, I really shouldn't be wasting... I thought these iron tools would survive a bit longer, but they're not, turns out. Turns out they are not surviving longer. So, we're going to have to switch back over to stone tools. But, coal. Got some nice coal. You know, Rome didn't build itself, and also, if Rome did build itself, it wouldn't have built itself in one day, chat. So, you know, yeah, it sucks. It sucks having to start from scratch in Minecraft or whatever, but it's the journey. It's the friends that you make along the way. You know? What do you think about free socialist dildos? You've said my two favorite words, free and socialism. Um, it doesn't matter what words you use after that. If you said free socialism, Hitler's butt cheeks, yes. You know what I mean? I don't... As long as you have the two... The two words that I like at the start, the rest is irrelevant. You know? What about just dildos? Sorry. No. No. They have to be free and socialist dildos. Your freedom isn't free. It costs the same for you and me. Did you know that? The finest red. <laughs> Red dildos. Do you think like, <clears throat> do you think color matters when it comes to dildos? Okay, if if you're in the chat right now and you've ever bought a dildo before, have you ever been um, enticed by like a different color? Like, does it matter? For me, I don't really know much about about dildos. Like, I know about them obviously. I've never used one though. Um, and um, so, like, I don't understand, like, if it's something that you get really into and then you want to, like, customize them, maybe put some bling on them or, like, get your name laser engraved on it or, or anything. Like, is it, is it like that or is it just very much like you just use it, you don't really care what it looks like? With blinking lights. Well, I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Just covered in rhinestones. I yeah, I guess. I mean, is that a thing? Like, can you get, like, a really, like, blinged out Valentine's dildo with, like, an engraving on it? Love you, mate. Or, like, love you, babe on it or something like that? 
because I, well, I mean, it doesn't matter who you give that to, right? Like every a anyone can use a dildo. It's not gender specific either, right? The specs on the dildo is what matters. So like what? Like if it's ribbed or something? If it has like a good, a good rib? Hi, Sips. I Hi. just wanted to apologize for probably pissing you off when I bumped into you at Ghostface Killer in Bristol before COVID. I was very drunk and defo pissed you off. This 10 buckaroos is an apology. Sorry, mate. I don't remember anybody uh, pissing me off at Ghostface. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it. Don't even give it a second thought. Um, that's not something that I remember uh, happening at the Ghostface Killer concert. Um, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. I make custom glass sex toys and people have all sorts of weird requests. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, thank you so much, sorry mate, for the 10 bucks. Sipsy pretty boy, thanks for the 10 bucks as well. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it, honestly. I don't I don't recall anybody being drunk and annoying. Uh, except for maybe Lewis. But uh, I actually went there with him. So, um, what's his excuse, you know? It's not like he just turned up and started acting drunk and annoying. Like, we actually went to the concert together and he was drunk and annoying, so... <laughs> I'm just joking, he wasn't even... It was fun taking Lewis to a hip-hop concert. Man, he was, like, completely... I've never seen... I've seen Lewis out of his element slightly in the past, like, just with, like, things that we've done, like, uh, when we went to Paris that one time and stuff. But, uh, but uh, seeing Lewis at the Ghostface Killer concert has to be the most out of his elements I've ever seen him. And he took to it really well. He was really bopping around and like singing along with songs and stuff like that. He even made an effort. He listened to 36 Chambers like a couple of times, like the day before and stuff. Like he was kind of worried. He was like, he'd never really listened to much Wu-Tang before. So um, he was just like trying to get into it. It was really good. He was throwing gang signs all over the place. Yeah, it was really, really something else. Nice, nice. Classic Lewis. Yeah, yeah. He was having a good time. It was, it was really good. Heartwarming, I'd say. Um, do I have sticks? Yeah, I have sticks. I just don't have stone on me, so I'll have to grab some stone. I'm just going to use these crappy um, things for now, right? I'm going to have to. Um, let's get a couple of picks. Iron sword. There's a little bit of iron here. I could make, like, start making some armor, I suppose. Maybe a helmet? Okay. We'll start suiting up a little bit. Don't worry, we'll go down and do some mining and replenish all that iron. That's really good, though. Holy crap. He did a good job, chat. He's built a mine shaft. He's got some iron. He's built a nether portal. Like, he played for, like, two hours by the looks of it. So, that's not bad going, really. His contribution has been noted. Slipsko is happy. I wish I could see a Whale Lords 2, man. That was fun to watch. I mean, uh, who knows? There might be another one. I don't know. It's up to Lewis, really. It's whatever Lewis wants to do. If Lewis wants to do a Minecraft series and invite people to it or whatever, then it'll happen. A lot a lot of what we do kind of uh, hinges Sips, on Lewis. Please and stop what he ignoring wants to do. my calls. You can't ignore our child any longer. Please, no, I, I can't. Sips. I've got too many. It's I find it actually surprisingly easy to ignore all the extra ones. Um, thank you very much. Uh, Sips is my baby daddy. Thanks for the 1352. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I've got too many. I've got I've got some to spare actually. If anybody wants like a free kid, way too many. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these kids. A baby daddy. <laughs> a baby daddy. My baby daddy. No, thanks. All right. Well, the offer's still there. I mean, they're they're around, you know? They are here. They've been willed into this universe by me and my, my wife, my lovely wife. So, the offer still stands. They're there. Right. I've almost knocked down this mountain. We need to be doing this while the stone cooks up anyway. We want to make a really cool looking floor for around where the portal is going to be. And then we can, um, what is it, plots? 
I need to open up plots and figure out how big this is going to be. I want to make it circular. I want to make it circular and I want to make sure that there's enough room to make a grand doorway on like every side of the circle. I want it to be like a central, you know, with roads going to it, like a like a almost like an intersection for the middle of the dad town, you know? That's my vision. A doorway. Have I ever considered not building the portal between two hills? I don't have a diamond pickaxe and the portal is where it is. I'm not going to break a portal that somebody else made. It's rude. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build around it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start laying the foundation to build something around it and hope that everybody on the server thinks that I'm some sort of hero for coming up with such a cool, sl slick build for that, you know? I'm sure they will. Like, I think, I think probably the next time they log in, they're going to be like, wow, this guy knows his shit. You can tell that this guy has played too much Minecraft. What a design. What a build. Make the nether portal one of the entrances? No, no. No, come on. Don't be... Don't start acting crazy. This used to be a big towering mountain. I've flattened it all out now. See, the thing is, I think if we want to have some like different landscaping, we can do that later. With dirt. Grass. Do we need to leave one grass block for the stuff to spread? I guess we need silk touch for that, right? So otherwise it's just dirt. The old silk touch. Okay. We want it to be completely dad made landscape. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. All right, let's chop this bitch down. Oh, I noticed that um, Northern Line also got rid of all the floating trees that Dan left behind, except for possibly one here. But the rest of them are all gone. He's done a good job. Actually, we've really cleared this out quite quite well, considering we didn't really play that long yesterday. I've done a really good job of clearing it all out. He was pissed about it. <laughs> good, good. At least, well, at least it shows he's got some standards, you know. This is more than we can say about Dan Giesling. Let's face it. Guy has no standards. He just left a whole bunch of fucking treetops floating in the sky. There's a lot more hill to be cleared out on your right. Yeah, don't worry. We'll get to it. We're just going to clear most of this so that we can start laying the foundation for the town hall. The nether portal being at the center of it. Oops. Dad... Dad craft drama soon on LSF. Well, that's what we're, that's the hope, right? That's going to give us a huge, huge visibility and profile. That's why I think if we start beefing early on, we can get a couple of the top posts in there, get people really invested in it, start watching it. You know what I mean? That's how you got to do it. That's how it works these days. Only psychopaths leave trees in the sky. You're not wrong. That is fucking weird, isn't it? Beef early beef off often and the beef is cooking in my part of town sizzling beef I need to start a rumor that I'm sleeping with a mainstream celeb I don't know if it works if you're not a celeb yourself though you know like or maybe I maybe I am like a like a, a ZZZ list one or something but I don't think anybody will believe me right Look at Rebecca, Rebecca Luz, remember? She was like, I'm sleeping with David Beckham. And everyone's like, yeah, okay. And then she just disappeared. She was on one reality show where she had to like eat a cockroach, I think. And that was it. That's the last time anyone saw her. She just moved to France. What's up? Dragon Crimes, how you doing? How is my back during these long sits? Oh, it's broken. You're like beyond repair. Actually, I did more exercise today. Felt pretty good. Feeling pretty, uh, pretty energetic once again. 
you probably noticed that I'm shining a little bit again. Did some exercise and had a shower. Is that dry winter complexion? The post shag glow. No, well. I mean, no. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I look extra swole. Swole. Okay, thank you very much. I take it that's a good thing? Or no? Am I preggers? Um, I mean, it looks like I am. Technically, probably not, though. I don't know if that's possible. I've got the gut for it, though. That's for sure. And it's a hard gut, too. It's not like a flabby gut. It's like rock hard. So, I don't know what's going on there. Pregnant. Pregnante. What exercise do I do? Just walking. I fucking hate doing anything else. I'm a very reluctant uh, athlete. <laughs> very reluctant. You won't catch me exercising unnecessarily. A walk is pretty much what I can be bothered to do. So that's what I do. Just go for a little walk. Get the heart rate up a bit. You don't think I count as an athlete? You don't. You wouldn't class me as a cyber athlete? Come on. I put in the hours at least, right? No? Walks are awesome? Walk to the chippy? Yeah, well, I mean... Why why drive when you can just have a nice nice walk and get some extra massage in there too? Very good. Alright, let's start putting down some of these stones. Um, once we've gotten rid of some of these dirts. Let's put all these dirts away. Some brown wood. Uh, we got some chickens. We can cook these bad boys up. We've also got some eggs. Some saplings and feathers and all sorts of other shit. More saplings. Some seeds. That's good. Arrows. Let's hang on to all this stuff. We've got these apples and stuff too. And then, of course, we've got our bed here. Very nice. Uh, we've run out of coal, I believe. Yeah, no, we have. Okay, we'll have to get some more. That's all right. Okay, so smooth stone. Um, let's start putting the smooth stone. I think we want to put it down here, right? What do you think? No? This will be the center of... the town. This is the one. My spacebar is still squeaking. What can I do to get rid of the squeak from my spacebar? Stone bricks. Yeah. For now. WD-40. Maybe we should go do some mining. Get some better. Got rid of it. That's all it took. Just had to be rough with it. Here we go. We're doing it. Right, um, we want to have this built around here like this too. Whew, I missed. I have to go up this way. Okay, um, let me quickly get plots open. Plots. Minecraft. Plots. So what do we want to make? We want to make uh, an ellipse, an observatory, a sphere. We want to make a sphere. 
we want to have the 2D view and then we want to go to 2D view and then we want to go hang on a second is there a skeleton fighting me or is he over here somewhere is he back here I can hear him I can hear his bones rattling a little is that me climbing that mountain uh, no where what mountain what you talking about, Wills? No? Still a lot to clear out up here. I have to figure out how this is going to look as well. So it has, it's like, what's that? Five by six? So that's one, two. So we need to go bigger. Two D. Um, I can't remember how to use this thing. I can't remember how to get to like the right thing. You're doing great, Dad. And to how to keep it in two D as well. Click the sphere button above the home page and more. Use bottom slider to adjust the sphere diameter and use the right slider to show what layer you want to build. Oh, it's the one. So what's half of 46, 23? That's quite big. But that's a that's a really good sized town hall. Okay, but it can't it has to be 47, right? It's got to be 47, so then we want to go to layer 23 in 2D, and then, so in the middle, we'd have the portal. That's fine. And then around it, we'd have, so the portal goes out on either side, because it's three at the bottom, is it not? Or is it two? It's two. So it goes out by, oh, so we do want it even. It's two and then four. Sorry, my bad. Okay. So we want it 46, 23, 2D, and then it'll be 2 and then 4. Oh, okay. It'll always be off a little bit, though, because... So we want it to be 47 by 46. Forty seven, forty eight, maybe then? Would forty eight do it? And then twenty four? No, we can't get that in the middle like that. It'll always be one off, right? Two to the one to the one, two, three. Make it 48 by 48. Yeah, I have made it 48 by 48, but it's not going to be able to sit right in the middle. The only way that we could get it to sit in the middle is to double it up, right? Make it a thick one. Yeah, we'll make it thick so that it sits right in the middle. Okay, so it'll be 2, 4. I think that's too big now. But we want the room to be kind of big. Okay, so 2, 4, and then... And then 22 out, either way. Right. What do I have here? So I have 22 out. Okay, so it'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, no, that's way too big. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so this 22, that's the, that's the side there. Let me go to bed. Bigger for a portal. It's like a town square, though. There's going to be stuff in here, chat. Like, there's going to be signs. Like, that's actually a pretty good size, I think. It's going to be a real ripper. Yeah, you're right. It is going to be a real ripper. Okay, 
So it's going to be like this and this. So it's like that too. Twenty-two each side, right? This is gonna be like a monument in the middle. Yeah, kind of. That's what we're going for, yeah. I need to make some more chevelles. Some more chevelles. You think I'm making a big portal? No, no, I'm not making a big portal. I'm making a big room for a big portal chat. Big difference, big difference. Some more shovels. Okay, good. So this room is going to go like this, which means that we're going to have to double up the portal. So we'll have to make some more obsidian. That's fine. We can do it. And then we want it to go one, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three eight, to the four. Nine. Snoop Doggy and Dog and Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance so back will not cause you no way but to rip shit up. Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach, you know you in trouble. West 22. Coast. 22. West Coast, baby. West Coast Riders for Life. Okay. To chop down some of these trees that are in the way here. Okay, good. Shit. Shit. Good. Okay, now we're cooking with gas here. Sips. Yeah. Sips. Yeah. You never told me about this other woman. You told me I was special. You were my real guy. My best guy, but now you're only my guy. Pay uh -oh. your damn child support. Lots okay. of love, 20. Hey, lots of love, 20, right back at you. Thank you so much. Sips is my baby daddy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. 21. It's 21? No, it's not 21. What are you talking about? Look, either side, there's 5, 8... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wait, it's more than that. It's 22, right? Oh, no, it's four. So, two, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. No, no, the outside is twenty two. It's fine. Chat, don't worry. We got this. We got this. Okay. Whoops. Mistakes were made. Okay, this is going to look like fucking so awesome when it's done. Now you mark these words. This is going to look like a fucking million bucks. Okay, we need some more coal. We're going to have to go mining. Right, and then from here, it's only two, so it's... Um, hang on a second. It's going to be only two, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 the other way. The left side's only 21. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's fine. And then f this side is <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's 22 on either side, you bozos. It's fine. The calculations are correct. You're talking to a guy who built a huge fucking dome, okay? On his first try, he didn't even get it wrong once. Don't even try to correct me here, chat. I know what I'm doing, believe it or not. 
okay? This is where I excel. Trust the dome man. That's right. Have a little bit of trust, the man and his dome. Okay, so from here it's 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Right. Looks like we got a little underground river here with some skeletons hiding in it. Shit. Found them. Found them. Right, I'm gonna go down there and fuck them up bad. Let's eat that. Alright, you little bitch. What's this fucking underground cave here? Let's get him. Okay. Good. Let's clear him out. That's good. Right. And then we're gonna have to clear the circle, too. This is good. This is really good. We're off to a really great start here. Planning is happening, and things are starting to go our way. Finally, blocks are protected. Which ones? No, no, it's fine. Okay, so from either side here, which is to say the middle, we go four on either side. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, and then after the four, we go, <laughs> we go three. We're in very familiar territory here. No, three. So one, two, three. Just making the, just making the circle here. And then another three. One, two, three. Um, and then after that, one. Uh, and then after that, it's one, two. One, two. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. Let's not get too carried away. We're not actually building a dome, by the way. This Seven, is not a dome. 12. It's not a 36, dome. Six. It's not one. 11. Nope. Five. Nope. 69 kek W. No, no, no. 20. No. 16. No. Nine. No. Two underscore. No. No. Okay, I'm gonna keep saying it as well. It's not a dome. No, 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 it's not. Oh. Looks like we got a new recipe. It's half a dome. Cause I'm half a dome I used to be. I'm just half the dome. I'm gonna have to go do some mining. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to go get some more coal. Actually, there was a whole bunch of coal down here, was there not? Ding. Dong. Nice. The coal is just floating. Floating coal. Floating coal. Floating coal. We'll uh we'll leave all this water underneath here actually. We'll need some. Eventually. Where we're going. I'm not going to drown. Look. It's fine. Told you, I'm a Minecraft pro for Christ's sake. I mean, I've played enough of this dumb game. I know what I'm doing, believe it or not. Okay, maybe you don't believe that. Oh, look at the permanent... Man, okay, you know what? Fucking NL has played a goddamn blinder here. 
Did you guys teach him how to play? Like he's he's fucking he's he's gotten some good shit going here. Really good shit. Did I see him fall in the lava yesterday? Yeah, I watched the clip, it was pretty funny. He just jumped right in. I did that to my mind shaft. I don't know if you remember. So it's something in your brain just like forces you to, to do a uh, ill time jump and then you're before you know it you're dead. I won't make the same same mistake. I have one death so far. That's it. That's how I'm planning on keeping it. Should adopt some of us as your children to work as slaves on hill clearing and mining? No, no, it's fine. It's, it's I, you know what? A lot of people think it's boring, but actually, I think it really just makes decent content. Like I can, I can sit here and talk. It's not like overly taxing and stuff. It's just good solo content, honestly. We can have a, a little chat. We can, we can invent some some tracks for the club if we want like whatever I mean, there's a whole bunch of shit that we can do and then it's really good for just having a chat with somebody you know like if dan joins us again or later on in the evening if if anel is on or we can uh, michael j fox so might want to join or whatever domes are slow yeah domes are like two years ago nobody wants a dome now a days you know You're have some a couple of bevies with the boys hey some sips fucking i yeah. need some advice what? Until recently, I thought that lactose intolerance was a myth, but last night I ate some cheese and drank some milk, and no joke, I shit my pants. Jeez. Do I switch to semi-skimmed or do I power through? Um, I, man, if you're if you are truly uh, lactose intolerant, um, I would say maybe it's time to switch to like some soy or something because I I think I don't think you realistically want to be shitting in your pants that much. Um, I know I don't. Like, don't get me wrong. I like to shit my pants as much as the, the next guy, which is to say, not much at all. Don't actually want to be shitting in my pants. Okay, we're gonna go do some mining. What time is it? Oh, that's right. I got some time. I got lots of time actually. Just join. Is that new dome looking good? No, no. It's the start of uh, we're laying the foundation for a town hall. Uh, once I get the once I get the the foundation to my liking, built up a little bit. Hopefully nobody will uh, screw it up. You know what I mean? I'm going for like a big circle, just a big old circle. Here we go. Here we go good stuff here some more coal which we need to cook up all the all the good stuff let's grab all this coal need to make a water bucket also be very useful for getting deeper down in here with the lava and such we can't listen to bodies hit the floor anymore which kind of sucks it was really good mining music What level are we on? Twenty four. Oh shit, look at that. Some gold. Okay, we're gonna have to body swerve the gold here. Come back when we got an iron pickaxe, or maybe even a diamante one. Come back when we got the diamantes. If we can find some diamantes for the boys, I think we'd be in good shape here. Fucking den, log in, full diamond gear. Hey, did you save any for me? <laughs> no. Fucking no, I did not. Use them all up. Okay, good. We, well, we need this coal, right? To make more uh, blocks. I'll fill it in as we go. Big level up. Right. We just don't want places for stuff to spawn in, right? 
and also we got to keep it lit up too. 13. Here we go. This is the floor for us. This is the one. This is the one. We want a nice clean mine shaft here to do some good strip mining. Right? So it's every, it's two, but we got to open it up a bit. Let's get it opened up. I'm going to have to make some more tools. Did I bring some wood down here with me? I'm pretty sure I did. So we can get a uh, tool bench down here to make tools. Maybe some chests and stuff too. Yeah, I brought lots of wood. Great. Look at all these oak logs. We might hang on to the birch ones for some beams. You know what I mean? You're doing great, Dad! If you were Christina, a busty voluptuous spicy lady with big old knockers and that tight little ass of yours, would you still have become a streamer? Or would the internet be too scary for you? Or maybe the extra money is a reason to do it, I'm not a perv. Right, okay. I believe you. I believe you. Hey, Sipsy Pretty Boy, thanks for the 10 bucks. I don't really know what you're trying to get at there, but um, thank you very much. Appreciate it. God bless. God bless America. I need some more. Ah, uh, there we go. Found some. Okay, let's start getting some of this stuff cooked up. Replenish. Make a bucket. Get some water down here so that we can... Uh, we can cover over lava when we see it. We don't need that much lava. It's a bit of redstone there too. Very nice. Uh, let's get a couple of furnaces going so that we can smelt up this stuff. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Ew. 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 Um, yep. And yep. Perfect. And let's get on this as well. Ooh. Ooh. Great. Uh, where do we want to put these chests? Perfect. Let's get this sand in here. Um, let's get this wood in here as well. And all this other stuff that I don't really need to be carrying around with me. Let's just remember that some of this stuff is in here too. That would be good. And uh, we'll put this stack in here. Whoa. Hello? So we want to start going down the sides here, I think. See if we can get some good shit. Upgrade some tools as well. So that we can grab like that uh, redstone and whatnot. We'll probably find water down here, I would have thought, right? How many shovels? Yeah. All right. We have a really good chance of finding Demondis. Diamandes. Once we find some Diamandes, we'll be unstoppable. We will be unstoppable. We'll make some better gear and stuff. Get an enchanting table going for the boys and stuff too. Diamandes. Perfect. Perfect. Um, great. And we need some of these. Wait, we don't. Let's make a couple of these pickaxes. Perfect, and uh, we'll start using these, even though we'll chew through them very quickly, but we just want to make some... We wanted to get there fast, right? We want to get the Demondi so we can get a, we can get a diamond pickaxe. Get some efficiency enchanted on it as well. It'd be really good. God, I love mining. I really like it. Got to get some mine carts going and stuff too, right? So that we can send resources up to the top. <clears throat> we'll have to show Dan how to like cook up blocks and stuff, right? Need like a big cooking room. Huge cooking room. Uh, let me fill all this up so that the strip mine isn't just a total mess of potential spawns and stuff, right? Perfect.
Maybe make a quarry with some fences. Well, we're going to have to find a different way to get down here eventually. Right? Because we don't want the entrance to be exactly where it is. We'll get like elevators and stuff going eventually, I think. Make it a little bit easier. Some water at the bottom. And just drop into. Get some kelp and stuff. We'll have to get a map room. Maybe we can, maybe one of the quadrants of the big portal town hall can be a big map room with a big map on the wall. You know? We've got ideas. Got some hot ideas. Yeah, we've got a little bit of redstone. That's good. I can feel it, chat. I can feel it in my bones. The Demundis are coming soon. If we just keep pounding it this way, we'll find them. More coal, nice. I've recently been watching my old Minecraft series. Unfortunately, this is just going to be a little bit tedious to start with. Resource gathering and such, but it'll 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 improve. We'll work on it a little bit every day. Then before you know it, blammo. We've got a dad server that to be proud of. And then we can do modded. <laughs> Then we can move into modded. Imagine imagine a dad server with a nuclear reactor. That'd be fucking awesome. Holy shit. Imagine a couple of dads working on a nuclear reactor together. And then working in shifts to keep the nuclear reactor running. At peak efficiency. In hardcore. <laughs> oh my god. ton of this stuff all said and done uh, let's fill this up again let's get some another torch man I thought we were gonna get diamandis like for sure by now but we haven't in fact we haven't even found any more iron which is a bit of a problem Gotta be some down here, right? What am I on? I'm on level 11? 11's a good one, right? Holy shit. <laughs> There's nothing down here. Maybe the other way is better. there's some redstone still I don't really want redstone though I want the good stuff I want the capital D's you know the capital D's nuts not them good XP though right what the hell is diorite for have we ever used it for anything we haven't even used it I guess you could cook it into better looking building blocks if you wanted to right remember what Philza told me always mind my dirt 
What, is that one of his sayings? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's fucking, let's go try the other way. This way stunk. Look at this. Regular diorite looks better. What, really? Like uncooked? I don't even think you can cook it. Can you like chisel it or something? Maybe one over is is a luckier one. I don't know. We want to build. We want to build another um, shaft down here, though, right? Oh yeah, there's some dirt here. Wait, does dirt mean potentially some diamandis? Dirt could mean water. Okay, one thing for sure, though, I'm not doing is I'm not building anything underground until underground to like have at least some weapon and uh, tool enchantments because building stuff underground with like crappy tools is a nightmare and also we want to build stuff above ground anyway we don't want to be a bunch of weird mole men mole dads Some Feliz, Feliz Moldads. I need to find at least some iron down here. Or else. We're back to stone tools. I've gone through two iron pickaxes and we haven't gotten any iron back. Okay, I'm making the executive decision. We're out of here. I got a raid. Hey Rams, what's up? Thanks so much for the raid. How are you doing? I hope the um, lobby went well this morning. I couldn't make it. I had dad stuff to do. I had some big boy dad things to do today. It's just how it worked out. Go into the caves for lots of iron. Yeah, I know. Strip mining's safer, though. Usually we hit stuff. Usually we hit the stuff that we need. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Let's see what's this way. Maybe this way is the luckier way. Uh oh. Oh my god. Come on, Iron. Where do you live? We need you. We need you so bad. I didn't make a water bucket either. Whoops. Some more coal here. And where there's coal, it's usually just coal, actually. Lots of it, though. <gasps> I found the Bundys. I found them. I just need some iron now. There we go. There we fucking go. First the Bundys of the map. The servers for... I got another server first here today guys big one really big one demondies okay let's get these uh we're gonna need to get some uh, iron okay so we know that there's definitely some demondies down here um maybe we'll just find some iron down here if we're lucky we should excavate this out a little bit more so that we can make some more mine shafts it's really slow going with the stone axe i realize this but i don't have any iron so you're doing great dad okay. ask Rabs about the arms about the arms what arms what's up Rams? arms in arms way 
This shaft is iron deficient. You're uh, you're you're not wrong. It's a really bad one. Knee arms. Knees and arms? I'm too old to understand, Jess is saying. What is it, Jess? How did my kids respond to the news of a new sibling? They're pretty exciting. They're pretty excited. They can't wait. Let's get some more of this stuff going. So much coal. So much coal in Powell. Uh, we want to start putting, um, yes, boom, 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 boom. Let's shake the room. Okay, perfect. And then we have to go 23 the other way from there too. And that's gonna be our cross shape. And then we just fill in the circle around, right? And then we make some windows and some stuff. We're gonna need some glass. Uh, for that, we're gonna need some sand. Uh, I also need to make, oh, I've got a couple of extra ones here. That's fine. Uh, in fact, I have everything I need down there. I just thought that maybe I could find some iron like on one of these walls or per perhaps find a cave. Hello? I'm just gonna have a quick look at these walls here to see if there's any iron available. And if not, uh, we'll try to find a cave and go down and get some iron that way. I just need enough to mine up those diamandes. I just need like a couple of pieces. Is there anything? Hello. No. Nope. There's a lot of tulips over here though. Is that a skeleton? Oh, it is. Fucking bitch. Fuck you, you little bitch. Got him. Okay. Good. Let me just go over here and remember which way I came from so that I can find the base. Maybe we need a, like a gigantic nerd pull on top of the portal just so that we can see where the base is no matter where we go. So there's a swamp this way. Lots of water and stuff over here. No chasm. I haven't found a chasm yet. Which is kind of good, actually. It's good to not be close to a chasm. Because people just fall in it all the time, right? We've done some really good clearing out. Yeah? No? Not impressed? Iron ingot in the chest. Is there one in the chest? Oh my god. It's like a sign from G.O.D. himself. Holy crap. Fucking done it, chat. Well done. I'm glad you guys are paying attention. Okay. Perfect. Let's go get these demandis. I looked at chat. Praise Geodude. Oh, I just farted. Oh, man. Just farted again. Diamandes. I am a pro, chat. Don't believe otherwise. Describe the smell. Yeah, like eggs. Just stinks of eggs. Okay, we got the gold. We got the golden bling bling here. Some more. We're just going to look around a little bit to see if we can find some diamandes. But there are none. Right, down we go. Please make the ceiling higher down the stairs. Don't worry, Jacob. I'll do it. I got it. I got you. Okay, that's fine. because oh, Here we go. More iron. Perfect. Okay. 
There was some so close. I just had to be a little bit more patient. It's always the way, eh, chat? Look at this. We'll get this smelted up. And we'll go grab our diamandes. Nice, 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 nice. We'll get this gold smelted up, too. Good to have some gold. All right, so we want to go down that way. Um, let's get these demandis. Get the bucket going as well. Yeah, we'll need the bucket and some water. Some iron here, too. Nice little haul of diamandes. Perfecto. More gold. Fuck yeah. All of a sudden the game's just opened up big time chat. Look at this. Finding everything down here. All you got all we had to do was just get nasty in the club and fucking we're doing it. Getting real nasty in the club. Alright. Let's leave this mine shaft as it is for now. And let's get some of this stuff smelting, and then we can make a diamond pickaxe and go even faster. Right? Okay, good. Um we have just enough to make a pickaxe. And we have some spares as well. Okay, perfect. Boom. We're not re we're not quite ready to enchant and stuff yet, right? So we're just going to have to burn through a couple of diamond pickaxes, but look how much faster it is. So good. What difficulty is the server on? Just normal. It's just on normal. Oh, it's so much faster. Oh, it's so much better. The durability is so much higher, too. Now we're just creaming through it. I mean, we were always going to have to do this at some point in this, right? So we might as well just get it over with as soon as we can. Look, we're already 21, too. We've got tons of XP. Should be able to do some enchanting pretty soon. Get some farms and stuff set up. I made a whole bunch of torches with the initial coal that I found. Which has been useful. Um, let's get this in here. Actually, we need that. Why am I digging three high tunnel? I don't know. This is just how I strip mine. I like making them three high. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it or whatever, but this is just the way I've always done it. Three high and I skip two. Make a nice clean tunnel. Yeah, too high is very claustrophobic. You're right about that. It's off-putting. Make my stairs three high. I will. Don't worry, Jacob. I'm getting to it. Look, more demandis. Found the mother load. Found him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just keeps going and going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. How many did we get? Nine! Oh, my Lord. Okay. That's great. They don't stop coming, I know. I'm telling you. This is the this is the path to success. We're going to have everything that we need to start building our shit up top. Get a fucking diamond shovel and start doing some enchants and stuff. 
do some cow farming. Boom. Hello? That was my butt, by the way. When I fart, it sounds like a uh, clown horn. I got a clown. What the hell? Was that my butt too? No, that was not my butt. Should we be able to hear that? From down here? That's loud. More coal? Perfect. Oh my god, so much coal. It's really good XP. Holy shit, what is going on up there? Oh my god, this fucking coal vein is insane. It never ends. Look, it's connected to like three others. Jesus Christ. Good. Uh, the pickaxe is still going strong too, right? Hasn't really lost much durability. I um I sent a tweet to um to uh, Abe from um, Offline TV, the guy who set up those rest uh, Rust servers, but no response. Chat. I kind of figured that that would be the case. I mean, you never know, I guess, but. The, the the point I'm trying to make is I tried. That's the that's the point. Too old for the zoomer party. I think I am, yeah. I don't fit in very well with the with the zoomers. I feel like they're missing out though. I my RP is incredible. I would I bring a lot to the table. I could uh, probably work at that waste management plant, and I'm not being funny. I'd work my way up and eventually take it over, because that is my bag. When it comes to waste management, I know what I'm talking about. Okay? Hide cocaine in all the trucks on the routes and stuff, and do drug deliveries at the same time. Like, you know. I know my waste is true. Uh, plenty of it uh, oozes out of my mouth every single day. You're doing great, Dad. Well, Good I'm glad morning, that we're down Sips. here and not getting hit How's by lightning. How's your wife's boyfriend doing today? Hope oh, he is well. He's good, yeah. Thank you very much for asking. Is this the first time we've picked up gravel? It's crazy. I'll take the coal. We need it. We've got to cook up a lot of blocks. Oh, there's more there. Hey, thank you very much, Whippy Streams. Thanks for the 10 bucks. I appreciate it. I like to keep a clean shaft. No? Oops. I like a real real clean shaft. So many diamonds. God damn.
gotta spend diamonds to make diamonds, right? That's the rule. Oh, we're able to mine so much faster. Imagine with, imagine like an enchanted pickaxe down here, just slamming through this like there's no tomorrow. Wow, 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 wee wow. That would be nice. We're gonna need a lot of gold too because um, we gotta make a treasury for Dan, right? He wants to be the secretary of treasury. That's like his thing. So we'll try to make him a house out of gold. Chests filled with gold bars and some diamandes as well. All right. I think we'll get uh, iron, an iron suit for now, which will help us get through caves and stuff if we need to. Since we have a lot of iron and we'll save the diamonds for tools so that we can work faster. There's been a lot of stuff down this way. I can't remember which way we are right now, actually. Tons of coal. Can we have some smooth jazz? Man, the jazz kind of drives me nuts after a while, though. There's there's not that much jazz on the on the thing, right? We can listen to epidemic um, sound jazz, though, I suppose. What time is it? I gotta go pretty soon. I gotta take a break pretty soon. I gotta go pick up my kids from school. But when I get back, we'll do a little bit more. And then we'll have play some uh, Among Us at uh, 4. I think the lobby that we have today is pretty much the same one as yesterday. Toast is playing again. Um, maybe Ifa's not playing though, or he might be. I'm not sure. I need to check. I'll let you know the list in a minute. But then, like, all the regulars are playing as well. Like, um, Wolf and Steve and DK and all those guys are all playing, as usual. Oh, Scodge is playing today. That's right. It's not Ifa today. Scodge is playing. You guys know Scodge? We've been I've been playing a lot of Tarkov with him recently. He's a really nice guy. He's from Alaska. I'm going to um, I'm going to get him involved in uh, Dude Sim Alaska, whether he likes it or not. He doesn't know it yet. I haven't even mentioned it to him. Well, I have mentioned it to him, but I don't think he's like committed it to uh, memory yet. But he actually lives in Alaska, so we're going to get him to um, sort of fill us in on all the stuff that we need to know. Okay, let's leave that for now. He's literally on the other side of the world from me, yes. Scodge is who you watch when I won't stream Tarky Warky in the, in the evening? Now that I hang out with Dumb Dog and Scotch, when am I going to hook up with Richard Hammer and Michigan Dad? Hey, we're mutuals, me and Richard Hammer. I used to watch him play um, They Are Billions back in the day. He was like my he was like my They Are Billions. He actually got me into the game. I used to watch him play it a lot. And then uh, that's what prompted me to, to get into the game as well. Richard Hammer. He's a good one. He's a good one. And a dad. Hey, maybe he might want to join this. What's with this mutuals thing? A, a mutual is when you follow somebody on Twitter and they follow you back. You know what I mean? But then a mutual of mutual is like um, when you follow somebody that another person might might follow, but they don't necessarily follow you back. Follow you back, right? But it's like a. I don't know, it's like, that's like a social, a social web, right? A bestie. It's 
something like that yeah not quite not maybe not a bestie but like a testy okay let's see if we can find some more stuff down here I know it's kind of boring but uh, actually maybe we go topside and cook up some more stuff and lay some more bits down now that we have some diamonds as well I can make like a diamond shovel and shit Richard Hammer and Sip streaming together that would be a dream um, Richard Hammer is friends with JP as well, is he not? Or they know of each other? Or I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they know each other. Um, but yeah, I mean, we could try. I could, I could reach out see if he wants to to join this. If he wants to try it out, I mean, I don't know if he likes Minecraft or whatever, but it might be fun. He's been on drop frames before, and he's a friend of um, NLSS as well. Okay. Make the other dad some gifty wifties. Like what? What kind of gifts are we talking about here? We want to put that in there. And in there. And let's make... A couple more of these. Uh, let's put that there. Okay. What do we got here? Boom. Um, andesite? No. No. Cobblestone. We want to make a lot of this stuff, right? Iron and gold. Perfect. I left a whole bunch of iron downstairs too, right? Should go down and get it again while this stuff cooks. What shaders do I use for Minecraft? None. I just play vanilla. I can't be bothered installing all that stuff. Am I going to automate everything like on the dome world? Some. Probably like uh, like XP farms and stuff like that. Some stuff will definitely automate. I don't know if I'm going to bother with the sorting system again though. I think it's too much. Maybe Maybe for like big stuff. Dirt and stone and stuff like that. I could get something together. Actually, it might be easier to set up if we, we have more people to help with the work. Right? Um, let's get some armor. Some of this. Oosh, oosh. Great. And uh, we just need some pantaloons, which we just need a little bit more for. That's fine. Let's put all this stuff in here. Uh, andesite, diorite. Actually, let me take some diorite and some andesite up with me. See if it if it works with the other stuff. And then cobblestone, we can just leave down here. Um, arrows and stuff we'll take up with. Okay, perfect. Did I see Harry's Enderman farm? No, I've seen Philza's Enderman farm. Uh, where did he build his Enderman farm? In the, in the um, in the end, with one of those like cats or whatever that they love. Makes a lot of uh, noise. My uh, my thing isn't squeak is squeaking again. I should say my space bar. You hear that? It's like chirping. Yeah, fixed it. <laughs> no, it's back. What did, what causes that? It's really weird, isn't it? Some WD forty. I guess I need some. Yeah. All right. So we just want some pants. Oop. Okay, we got the full set of gear now. So we can put some of this spare iron away for the boys to use. We'll hang on to this. Uh, we'll grab a um, let's let's make a diamante shovel as well. That could be useful for us You're because we do great. have a lot more clearing to do up here. We need to start clearing this way. Okay, dirt. 
perfect. Okay. We want to clear the way down here as far as we need to, and then we'll know more of what needs to be cleared after this too, right? <coughs> Fucking dad craft. Just the best so far. It's been it's been really nice and chill. Sometimes that's what you need in your life. Just a bit of chill. You know? Can you agree? Another another sum this time around. Dome, you mean? No, no, we're not building another dome. We're, we're making a circle, though. The building is going to be circular. The town hall is like going to be sort of like the, the crossroads of the town. And we're going to set the spawn point there as well. Once I can figure out some more server commands. This is the server, yeah. This is our dadcraft server, yeah. It's going, it's going real good so far. Oops. Uh, let's grab this. Let's grab that. Let's grab some um, uh, dirt. We don't need more dirt. Oh my god, this is almost full. We're going to have to get another chest. Make some hoppers. I'll make some hoppers. Yeah, don't worry. We're on it. Okay, so it's 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. <laughs> oh my God. Ten. Good. Great start. Eleven. Do you know what's next? Sixteen. Twenty-three. All done. Uh, this is 14, right? Fourteen? I gotta recount, I'm lost. Uh, so it's from here, so it's one, two, three, four, wait. No. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, and 23. That's it. That's as far as we need to go. Perfect. And then we need to fill this in as well, right? To the end here. Where did that go? Perfect. Okay. I said the number. That's right. I did. I said it. I said it. 
Man, this uh, one one diamond pickaxe has so much puff in it. It's really good. So we just got to clear the rest of this out around it once we get the, the markings right. And most of this hill will have to go as well. And then sort of the area around it as well. We want to like flatten it out a bit. Perfect. Okay, so we have to clear into this, but then this whole like room is going to be the, the the portal. Who's on Dadcraft? So far, me, Northern Lion, Dan Giesling, and uh, Malf. So far. I don't think Malf has played much. Uh, Dan played a bit with me yesterday, and then I think for another hour or so on his own. Maybe doing some more clearing. And uh, Northern Lion played a bit last night on his own, too. And build, build this portal and some other stuff. Yeah, Pegwin's going to join. He wants to join. And uh, we're searching for other dads as well. No? Mm-hmm. If you steal a child, can you join? You should not steal a child. That's that's every dad's worst nightmare. Do not steal a, a child, okay? It's a lot of hassle for, for a dad. Stealing a child. No good. No good, I would say. Uh, we're going to need some more chests here. Whoa-oh. Good. You're doing great, Dad. Um, yep. Yep. Let's get some of this stuff in here. Some dirt. Some some dirties. Put all this stuff in here that we don't need. Hang on to that. Let's hang on to these planks, gravel, flint, bones, smooth stone. I guess we kind of want some smooth stone. We'll just hang on to the diamonds as well. We are. That's good. Does a pet dad work? Uh, You're doing great, dad. Giving back for watching you over the years. Best of luck with the new baby. Thank you so much, um, sat Satiric Nil. Thank you so much. Dad. Sips. Are any hats dads? Also, how about Ben? Sorry, Sips, I want to watch your stream, but I refuse to watch a 30-second League of Legends advertisement when loading into your channel. Blame Twitch. Okay, I'll blame them. Um, if it makes you feel any better, though, I barely ever run ads. I only run ads, like, if I'm actually going to be away for, like, 20 minutes and there's nothing happening. But I understand. If you don't want to watch ads, you do you. Instructions were unclear. What do I do with the child I stole? Sell it to a merchant. Do not steal a child. Satiric Nil, thanks so much for the thousand bits. Brandon and Jess, thanks for 20 bucks as well. Giving back for watching you over the years. Best of luck with the new baby. Thank you so much, Brandon and Jess. I appreciate it. Baby's due in July, so I still have some time to um, to play with my model railroad set and other dumb dad stuff that I like to do. Uh, did I just not continue this one? Was this one abandoned because I didn't have the right tools for the job? We need some more demundies. We need some more demundies, and then we're going to have to go topside and start thinking about getting some temporary farms going. So we're going to need some uh, books, do some books for some enchants. Try to find a cave with a spawner in it. We can make an XP farm. Depending on how far away it is from the base, we might need to get like a minecart track set up to take us there so we can farm XP. Some lapis. We need this as well for enchanting. This is going to be good. Found some. At last? Holy crap, I can't believe this is the first time we found Lapis. That's nuts. Um, also, the big uh, moment is um, coming up pretty soon. I'm going to have to go uh, for a little break and pick up my kids. 
and then I'm going to probably run an ad. I forgot to run one yesterday. Not that it matters. I'm not like, uh, you know, like some people are like, oh, I have to do like contractual obligations or whatever. Um, I don't think I actually have that um, because of the uh, the network. I think as, an, as a network, we have Heard you're having but... a new baby. Congrats, but how are you preparing your asshole for birth? Um, I've been doing a lot of internal exercises on my uh, perineum and stuff. I'm 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 all set. I'm all set to uh, launch it out of there. No problem. Gonna launch it right out. Thanks for the concern, though. I appreciate it. Um, Maddie P, thanks for the ten bucks. Very nice of you. Thank you. What's this? Hang on. <laughs> oh my god. Man, I love I love pigeons. We have like some friendly pigeons that uh visit our backyard quite often. And um recently because it's cold and the weather's been a bit funky and stuff, they've been like um and it's been very windy, so a lot of my kids' like backyard toys are like all over the lawn, and we've been too lazy to pick them up. Uh, so the pigeons are just like sitting on them and stuff, and pretend it looks like it. It looks sometimes like when you look out, it looks like they're using. Like my daughter's got this like this like car, like this pink car, <laughs> and they're just like sitting in it. Yeah, it looks hilarious. My wife keeps sending me pictures of it. Because you can see them from, like, the window. Rats of the air. No, no, these are, like, not city pigeons. They're, like, woodland pigeons. They're they're much bigger pigeons. And they they look really clean. I think they're called woodland pigeons. They're, like, country pigeons. Yeah, they're, like, classier pigeons, yeah. I don't live out in the country, by the way. They just so happen to come out here. I, we have, like, a bird feeder and stuff, so I think they just, like... Uh, have you ever seen a bird use a bird feeder before? They, like, chuck the seeds out. Like, they're looking for specific ones, almost. They do it really fast. You can't tell. It looks like they're eating it. But if you really look close, a whole bunch of the seeds, they just chuck away, right? And I think the pigeons um, get those ones off the ground. The the uh, the ones that get chucked away by the little, the little ones. The little, uh, what are they called? Blue tits. Bush tits. I live on a remote island, that's enough. Yeah, I don't even know how these pigeons... Well, I guess they just flew, right? Where the fuck did they fly over from? And why? It's like 14 miles from the nearest coast. Like, it's kind of far. I wouldn't fly that far. If I just already lived, like, you know, somewhere, there's no way I'd fly all that distance just to come over here. Well, I mean, I have done, but... You know, if I'm saying if I was a, a woodland, a classy woodland pigeon, I wouldn't bother. Birds migrate? Yeah, I know, but why here, though? I thought they migrated to, like, Spain or somewhere hot. These ones just stay here all year round. I don't know, I wonder where they live, even. I wonder where they're like full-time houses. Ooh. 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 You like those pro moves? That's why they pay me the big bucks on the circuit. Oh shit, whoops. That wasn't very pro of me though. I do want to fill this stuff in though, because I like to keep a clean mine shaft. Sure. Let's grab it. I feel like we've done a really good job here so far today. I feel like we've made some good progress. We'll do a little bit more when I get back, and then we'll play some Among Us at um, 4.
Me and my homies have all of the clean shafts. Yeah, right. Two. We could get an anvil in. Do you think it's um do you think it's worth repairing this pickaxe? Or is it is it more efficient to just make another one? Wash my dick. Well, it is washed. New one. Okay. I'll make sure I give my dick a good wash. Well, we found a lot of iron. A bit of coal, a bit of redstone, the usual stuff. We actually got some lapis now, too. We're going to have plenty of iron for the boys. iron for all the other dads, yeah. Bing bong. I hear lava. You can hear it bubbling. Good. Um, oh, hello. Hello, my little demundies. Come to Papa. Come to your Papa. Nice. What a find. Some more. This mine shaft has been great. Now we're up to 14 Demondis. Very nice. This is vanilla, yeah. Well, I can make that water bucket when we go up. Make some obsidian. We'll need some obsidian to make an enchanting table. Thanks for all the laughs you've brought us over the years. Well, I say Here's thank you for the laughter. Times. Holy shit, Mackilnar. Thank you for the hundo. Mackilnar? Thanks for a hundred bucks. Holy shit. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for the hundo. That is a big one. That is a big one. Thank you very much, Mackilnar. I really do appreciate it. You're doing Amazing. Okay, good. We've done some really good mining. Uh, we're going to go topside. Ah, wait. Oh, did I get all this stuff already? Yeah, I did. Okay, we got some coal. Uh, we can drop some of this stuff off upstairs. Uh, let's go and check and see how our smelts are going and stuff. And then we can start clearing out this ring. Um and figuring out what the inside is going to look like as well. We could do like a cool floor pattern maybe. Get some glass in there and shit. I don't know. Like maybe we we'll put some glass with some like lava coming down. Like just make it look like really fucking cool. Uh, if you guys are up for it. I don't know. Try to make it look really cool. What's the end goal for this world? There isn't one. Oh shit. It's uh, night time. Uh, we're nice and lit up here, though. It's good. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going to bed! Nice. Okay, there is a creeper up here. Eat that. Eat it. We're like a well-oiled machine now. Okay, good. That helps me, actually. I need to clear a whole bunch of that stuff out. Um, hello? Lots of creepers. <laughs> wow. That guy got so much air. Thank you. Why are there so many creepers? 
Make a shield? Who cares? I don't need a shield. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I will need one if we go caving. Should we make another big creeper hotel? Nice. Lots of big potholes. Got him. Oh, there's an Enderman over there too. Okay, he, him I'm not going to necessarily fuck with right now. Uh, what time is it? I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my kids' chat. Um, listen, we'll come back and, uh, and we'll finish up. Let me uh, put some stuff on to cook quick. Uh, such as we want some... Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um... We want that cooking again. We want this to cook again. Very good. Uh, let's put that on. And then, did we get any more gold? No. But we can put a lot of this stuff in here. Um, perfect seeds and stuff. We might have to do some farming when we get back. We'll see. Uh, we can put all this stuff in. And we have plenty of iron here. Perfect. And gold. Nice, and some arrows, and then we got these torches, gunpowder. Put these old tools in here that we don't need. We'll just keep the stuff that we do need on us. And we'll have to make another uh, thing when we get back, right? Okay, perfect. Um, great. We can leave that running while I'm gone. Um, would I ever put shaders on? Um, I don't know, maybe. Have a nice run and don't drop them. Do your kids call you Chris or Sips? Um, they call me um, Mellow Yellow. Actually, is uh, what they call me. Fuck shaders, they're ugly. I don't know. I'm just. I just. I. I like normal Minecraft. You know. I don't. I don't mind too much. Mel Mella Yella. Papa Poo Poo. Are you doing any more early Among Us? Not this week. I don't think. Maybe Friday. But it's too much. It's too much doing a morning lobby and then an afternoon one. I want to change it up slightly so that if I'm doing an afternoon one, I won't do a morning one. If I'm not doing an afternoon one, I will do a morning one. I want to get some time to get some dad craft in almost every day. You know, I want to make progress. I want to like build stuff and get things going. You know, and get people. You know what? I'm a giver. I'm not a taker. I want to contribute to society before I just start taking all of our resources. But, but can you give me a little lay, lay of the land? I see these like stoppers here. I feel like yeah. there's something going on, a bigger picture. There is. Look at Okay, so this stopper here, um, I, I use like this website to make uh, circles in an otherwise square world. Okay. Um, it's like a, like a plotting sort of thing. So I measured it out from the portal. Uh, this portal um, NL made last night when he How was How do you playing. feel about its placement right near City Hall? Well, or I'm just going to make City Hall around it. Um <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not about to break somebody else's hard work. You know what I mean? So ah. instead I'm just going to build the city hall around the portal. Okay. I understand. Um, so I measured out to the sides here and then from the sides, as you can see, you see these little trenches. Yeah. It'll slowly circularize towards uh -huh. this other marker and then to the other one over there. And then there's one in the mountain, uh, which I've sort of, put some some blocks down to mark like you know the length of it so that's how big city hall is going to be or at least like the core of city hall where there's going to be another portal see what but I mean? it's gonna be a dome though huh well we can make a little dome on top of it yeah like i think it's going to be like a circular building with either like a roof or some sort of dome or something maybe oh. we can <laughs> you know make it look like um uh, like an observatory or something like that if you want or whatever i mean that's the thing that would be great can i uh can i be the first uh what's underneath a foreman on a construction site um probably like a uh engineer or maybe like the foreman is like the guy right he's the yeah. guy who like directs the labor so yeah right under me. foreman i think is just like a worker Can is that who me, you want to be yeah just tell me just point me in the direction and i'll start blasting what, what, what do we need here okay well we need all this leveled off so i haven't done like the 
the rest of like the outside of it but in this like sort of inner area like uh not not too close to like the sides where like the bumpers are mm -hmm. all needs to be leveled to like this level including so, like all the shit at the back here see like this stuff okay this mountain needs to be cleared out too but look at i can make you some nice tools i got some diamonds well hey you know what they say um a, a, the a guy below the foreman as as is his... only as good as his tools right you took it right out of my mouth <laughs> i'll make you um i'll make you a shovel because you'll need one okay and uh, i'll also make you a pickaxe because you'll need one of those too sounds amazing i'm hanging on to the diamonds because i'm uh, greedy here you go one two whoa bam thank you okay so i will start excavating Excellent. this direction thank you so much oh my no god problem. It's just so, nice to have help. Like, geez. Oh, here's a mine shaft. Chat was saying there was a mine shaft. Because, look, I was looking around, and I was impressed with, like, there was something going on above my pay grade. But right. outside of that, it, like, it didn't seem like there was a lot going on, but it's more than meets the eye. It is. Yeah, absolutely. There is, there's a lot of really exciting stuff happening here today. Uh, mostly today. Last night as well, actually. The portal, all we got to do is light it up. Um, you just need like a like a, a flint and steel, which is really easy to make. Light that bad boy up, and we can go to another dimension. Um, ah, do you think we're ready for that? Maybe. I mean, yeah. we're we're not in a rush, but like we can still make it the centerpiece of our town hall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Have Have you started? So right now, it's we're kind of building from the center out. Is that fair to say? Mm hmm. So then, do you? This how will be do the you, center. How do you envision like individual housing or is there just shared housing? How do you, how do you? Well, I think it? what we'll do is like, we're going to have this circular town hall, right? And uh, see like where the paths are for the bumpers, like on each side, it can be like a, like the town hall, like the core of the town hall can be like a crossroads. So we can have like roads leading out, connecting up. And then along those roads, we can have people's houses. Uh, you know, we can have like a big storage facility. We can have like um, uh, like a big sort of like central place for like mine carts to come to, full of goods that we mine oh. up. Um, <laughs> if we find like a monster spawner, we can make an XP machine, which is kind of fun. Um, there's a whole bunch of really cool machines that we can make that we can automate as well with like redstone and stuff. Oh, man, That's actually like, like it gets a lot of grief Minecraft, but it. It is actually kind of fun. You can make a lot of really cool stuff in it. You know, it's like it, they're giving you a clump of Play-Doh with wires, and you yeah. can make a Tesla out of it. Exactly. That's exactly how I view Minecraft. When <laughs> I th that's when I think of Minecraft, that's what I think of. <laughs> Tesla and potatoes. And so, wires. okay, so I got it. So, so you see, like, essentially... In the cardinal directions of the dome, roads leading out, and along yeah. the roads you may find some humble abodes. Yeah, and but okay, how about this? On top of the town hall, which is going to be kind of like circular, we have like a cool dome that's made out of glass, so you can get some natural light in there. But then, you know, like where the circle is, okay, I don't know if you're ready for this. It might actually blow your mind. Okay. But I'm thinking like... The circle goes all the way down, right to bedrock, okay? So it's like a cylinder with, like, a big gap around it. It's going to be a lot of work. And then some bridges, okay, with, like, some really beautiful waterfalls trickling off of it. Maybe some lava as well, just, like, to, to spice it up a bit. So kind of like a moat, yeah, but it's, like, more of a chasm. Um, and then those roads are, like, bridges to it. So it'll look a little bit like something out of, like, lord of the rings or something i guess i don't know like what you would I i'll tell you what i you know in your previous life i know you were like a programming banker but yeah. you sound more of like a world architect like uh who's yeah. the guy that started the sims will right oh uh, yeah that's him yeah yeah he yeah, did I mean, start it yeah i think that's kind of what you're calling i mean what you're describing is is a utopian society for minecrafters around the world is that the kind of society you want to be like a Team. part of? I do, you know, and the reason is because you know you we're still we're still feeling each other out. I, I amongst Utopia, there's just a little little thread of mm -hmm. room for chaos, and that's you know. What kind of chaos are you talking about? Like maybe a tube filled with lava or something? 
Yeah, you know, not destructive chaos, but just enough where you're like, you gotta, yeah. we, get, we gotta have some, some a little security or some, there has to Kinda be some Kind of like, like pineapple on a pizza. You know, you get like that cheesy, doughy goodness with like some salty meat and stuff, and then bam, all of a sudden out of nowhere, why is there fruit on here? That's that exactly kind of chaos? It. Yeah. It's right, like okay. chaos, it, it doesn't ruin. Hold on one sec. It, it doesn't <laughs> ruin the, uh, the flavor, but it makes you think about it. It makes you think about the juices and all the other flavors and stuff, and how, yeah. like a harmony, like an orchestra of, um... Oh, you know what? I just realized, since we're both here, we need two beds. Let me grab some uh, more wool. See if I, mean, I can we don't have some. to have two beds. I'm okay with it. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, I don't think there's a mechanic for us to share a bed. As much as I'd like to, I'm the same as you, like, I'm okay. pretty okay with it, but... Um, the game... Game was obviously Required. programmed by people who weren't very progressive, so um, okay. you're just kind of you get you get what you what you're given, you know. Okay, I, c I can work with that. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to work with it. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> How was your uh, Tarkov yesterday? Did you play with Melf? Yeah, I played with Melf. Um, so we played some duos, and four out of five Ooh. within the first ten seconds, Melf got killed by a PMC. So right, right. So it was like, you'd be like, oh, that's not good. But in terms of like watching your friend get murdered, the, the yeah. camera angles were so cinematic. I'm not, I can't even be mad about it. Man, I, it's such a great game, isn't it? I just it's love amazing. it. It's amazing. Yeah. How did the, uh, how did your imposter runs go? Terrible. I'm really? really bad at being imposter. Yeah. I just, my heart's not in it anymore. Yeah, because, I mean, you've played in those lobbies. Those guys all have clocked hundreds of hours of that game, right? Yeah. There's no fool in them anymore. Um, so you know, I just try to, I just try to have fun. You know, like I'm not, I don't take it too seriously. Yeah, you know, I, just, I do just... feel like the um, the curve has like evened out a little bit. Like we played, I think last time we played together in those lobbies, there were some like really good players, but it didn't feel like the early days when it was super sweaty. It was kind of like a good mix. Yeah. The last time. Yeah, I think there's. Uh, I think it's, I think it's, I think people are more just wanting to have fun now rather yeah. than take it super seriously, which is, I think it's good. I think it's, uh, it, it makes it more, uh, more fun overall, you know? For sure. So, um, yeah, so no, my imposter rounds didn't go so well. Uh, I'd say that maybe my crew rounds didn't go, holy crap, you're a machine, Dan. Hey. I, Look you, at this, this, just disappearing right before my eyes. I love it. I don't even have to do anything. It's just I happening. I have a saying so you can get preemptive Monka S in chat. I'm a nuclear warhead. Just point me in the right direction and I'll get the work done. But right. but I okay. got to have some direction. Oh, right. Otherwise, okay. it's, it's chaos. I mean, a nuclear warhead needs direction as well, right? You're not just going to launch yes. that any old place. You got to launch it at the right place. <laughs> or hopefully not at all. You know, that hopefully not at all. Hopefully that, not that, at all. Yeah. I mean, you hope to never have to use it. No, that's that's it. It's like yeah. it's more it's a deterrent, right? That's what they say. Yeah about nuclear warheads but you know sometimes you sometimes you just gotta you gotta nuke someone maybe it's, just like a small nuke it's kind of like when i when i saw you log in the server yeah you're you're dripped out with you know iron armor and a diamond sword that's a deterrent because yeah. sometimes you think hey i could maybe just get a few shots in there on, on sips and he wouldn't notice but no i'm i'm on notice they're gonna plink right off of it like that's it's hard stuff I'll notice. I'll hear the dinging sound. I'll turn around and I will own you. <laughs> Zip, <laughs> Zip, what time is it for you? I don't, I don't have a full scope of it's where you are. It's 3:20 in, your in day. the afternoon. My kids just got back from school. I just picked okay. them up. Yeah. Oh, cool. And you, yeah. you walk, pick them up on the bike. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. Okay. We live really close to the school, so I can walk there, pick them up. It takes like two seconds. Uh, I take them in the morning. It's um, I I normally normally my wife or like my mother-in-law is really good. She comes down and helps out with the pickups and stuff. But uh, with COVID and everything, she can't really come down now. We're kind of like on lockdown, um, and my wife is pregnant, so I have um, taken on the job of chief picker-upper from Got school. You. You know? What's that? What's that banter like? Walking back, or like, are they like, "Hey, Dad, what happened on the Dadcraft server today?" Or is that the last thing? Though? No, they don't. <laughs> they don't ask too much, actually. They're they're like they're more sort of like, my son is nine, so he's always got like some 
something that he's excited about, like him and his friends are talking about Minecraft at school or something like that, you know what I mean? So he's always, there's always something going on that he feels like he has to talk about the whole way home, which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter is normally sort of like, because she's younger, she got hit in the face with a ball today, so she has like this big scuff mark on her face. Um, and she doesn't like going to the bathroom at school, so she holds it in all day. Um, so it's more like drama with my with my daughter, whereas my son is just all about like, yeah, just talking about Minecraft all day, sort of thing. You know, it's like they're very different, but they're different in age and stuff too, right? So you think at school like Minecraft is just like the hot topic, like. What do they talk about? Did you see that zombie I got yesterday? Like, no, they... they just talk about mods that they want to make, from what I can tell. They're like, yesterday I picked them up from school, and my son straight away is like, yo, me and my friend were talking about how sick it would be if we had a mod for Minecraft where you could have babies or something. And I was just like, okay. Like, he uses all this weird language that I never, I haven't taught him either, you know? Like, he says, like, sick and, like... Legit? He says legit a lot now. I don't know if your kids are like old enough to be using those that those oh, terms. Oh no, they're pretty young. He's like, that's really legit, or like that would be sick or something. Which I, you know, I get it, but like I just, I don't know. I guess his friends at school are like a bad influence, or maybe a good influence. I don't know if that's cool or not. Do they Chat, have do Canadian or British accents? Your kids? Oh, fu fully British accents. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they they were, like, like they were born here, like the all of their all of their interactions with any sort of society has been over here, school, everything. So yeah, they're fully like they sound sound British. Very do they, British. Do they say like do they ask dad how come you don't sound like us or no? Not really. They're just used to me now. Like um like they have asked, but they're they're very accepting of it, you know. Like they like I we took them to Canada two years ago. Um like uh just like on sort of like March break ish around mm -hmm. around then to like you know we went to visit my brother and my parents and stuff like that so they're like aware you know that there's like cultural differences that people speak differently and stuff like that mm -hmm. but yeah no they are very British they you know everything um, like I say rap they say rop <laughs> that's a bad example actually rap, um, like rap, what was I, I saying say the other day music? I was saying okay I say zebra they say zebra I say tomato. <laughs> They say tomato, you know, like zebra? Stuff, stuff like that. Zebra, yeah, that is a that is a very British pronunciation of zebra, yeah. Wow, I've never heard that enunciation of ever. Like, I, you know, you, is... you've heard some British terms, but zebra, I, I may zebra. have to adopt that one. Yeah, no, it's a good one. It's like, um, and, and then there's like little isms, right? They don't say movie, they say film. Um, they say like um, I'm, I can't think of anything else, but yeah, there are there are like differences, right? Just in like the everyday language, certainly like in the slang and stuff like that. So um, because they're all the, all of their friends, of course, are like uh, British as well. They just pick up on all that stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. What what do they call milk? Ah. Uh, just milk. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't really know where you could go with milk. I just, like, there's not much to it. Like dairy um, juice or something? No, yeah, oh. they had dairy juice. That that could be it. No, but they don't say potato. They say potato. So like tomato and tomato potato. I feel like you know at least we're consistent with the way that we would say it. But with them, it's like tomato potato. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me, you know? But then uh, the English language is tricky like that sometimes, isn't it? They say it's actually really hard to learn for people who have never spoken English before and they're learning it for the first time. Because there's lots of slang and, and stuff. There's like, a lot of words that are like this, like, just same weird. thing. You know, like yeah. the same word means three different things. Like, I'm not bitter, but in second grade, I lost a, um, a spelling bee because they, they gave me the word witch. Right. You know, and I and W I T H or W H I C H, right? Like well, I which... spelled I spelled W I T C H. Right, right. And it was the other one. And in my head, and I know they didn't say this. I in my head, I know I asked for an example, and they said which which is which, but they really didn't say that. That's, like that's, me, that's me just no, that's me justifying getting it wrong in second grade. But. Right, right. But that's a <laughs> that's a tricky one. Like that is a really tricky one. 
Especially if they don't give you the... So what So what example did they actually give you? Not that one, right? Did yeah, they say it was like... something like, which dog would you like? And I didn't... That, like, And I studied for the spelling bee, but that was the only word I didn't know. I didn't know how to spell which, W-H-I-C-H. Right. And that's the one I got. And I was like, I learned a valuable lesson that day. I, and, and with the spelling bees, is, was it, is it like a stereotypical spelling bee where you have to stand like up in front of the class and like say, you know spell it out and stuff like was it embarrassing or anything or um oh. it was in front of the whole school in the cafeteria Jeez. right and um i mean you don't when i got it wrong uh, i didn't feel good i'm sure i cried or something but i remember the girl in my class won she won like the whole thing even right. beat like older kids and the reward and it's so like trivial but i wanted it so bad it was imagine a pin the size of a quarter of a American dime. That was the reward. That and was the reward. Just, yeah, and it came in this this plastic box, Fudge. and it just looked so cool. And uh, <clears throat> you know, I haven't forgot it to this day. So, like, would you buy one of those on eBay if you could? You know what? I think they're so rare, you can't even find them. It's kind of like Stankor, you know. God damn. Hey, Dan. By the way, yeah. um, I think your inventory might be full because there's a lot of stuff laying around on the ground here. Precious uh, materials. I okay. can make another chest if you want. Or actually, there's a chest here that has some space in it. You might want to just, like, dump some stuff in the chest. I, I can do that. If, that. if that's for the betterment of society. Yeah, I, well, I, I mean, so, you know, when all these dads start flocking in here like crazy people, they are going to need some resources to build their houses and workshops and garages and stuff like that. Like, we need to hang on to all this stuff. Got it. We don't want them getting in here and not having anything to build <laughs> dad stuff with, you know? Yeah. yeah. Do you think do you think we'll have like, uh, and I don't know what kind of dad stuff you're into, but are you right. into like garage stuff? Well, I mean, I'm in a garage right now. I converted my garage into a studio. So yeah, yeah. I love love my garage. <laughs> but that's not typical dad stuff. I'm talking. No, like, I suppose. Yeah. Are you into? T do you do any typical dad stuff? No, I'm like, um, I'm a very modern dad in that sense, like. Uh, like for me a typical like old school dad would be like my dad he, like didn't care about um the kids at all you know he would work <laughs> a lot uh and then when he wasn't working he would find some other shit to work on around the house right that usually involved making a lot of noise sweating profusely and uh being ang more angry than like his day job right <laughs> so like fixing his car or something uh, uh <laughs> You know, like that's my dad was kind of like that, I guess, you know, like, but I feel like dads nowadays aren't so much like that. There's still dads out there that are like that, but like yeah. they're a lot more hands on nowadays. Right. With kids and stuff like that. Yeah. So hands on with the kids instead of like the trip piece of trim that's hanging off the, the ceiling. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Just like I, there sometimes. And what's the last thing you've uh, fixed on your house like that would um, be considered home improvement? Like something really basic. If it's like harder than than really basic, uh, I'll just phone somebody and get them in to do it. Like, so like I would, I won't do it myself. Like, what's the last thing you remember doing? Um, the last thing I remember doing is uh, I changed some light bulbs that went out. Okay. <laughs> That's about it. That's about okay. the extent of it. If it's anything more than that, like if I have to drill a hole in something or whatever, no fucking way. Like I'm not doing it. I. Because I, I always mess it up. It looks like somebody who doesn't know what they're doing has done it when I'm done. So And I don't want to live like that. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I'm not even a real dad. Come on, Chad. I am. I just I just don't want to do that kind of stuff. I don't want to live like that. I don't want to live like an animal. Who, like somebody who just... You know what I mean? You know, sometimes you do something and you, you think to yourself, this is going to look great when I'm done. And then when you're done, it really doesn't look great. And you're like man, maybe I should have just gotten somebody in to do it, you know, like, I find myself feeling like that when I do stuff around the house. So now I'm just kind of at the point in my life where I'm like, you know what, I'm just getting somebody in to do it. Yeah, it's just easier. You save yourself time and more importantly, aggravation. That's right. I mean, at the cost of a bit of money, which, you know, of course is important, but, um, I don't know, like, you know, they say, like, time is money, and I feel like if I'm spending my time doing that rather than other stuff, I, I could be, you know, maybe somehow in the end it'll work out that I'm just financially more better off by using my time better, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, your time's better spent 
talking about doing the work. Yeah. And people or, laugh about it than actually doing the work. That's right. Or, yeah. you know, just like thinking about doing it, but then not <laughs> actually doing it. But then I feel like if I thought about it a lot, I'm a lot more comfortable with somebody else doing it as well. <laughs> so, like, there's lots of layers of justification here going on. But, um, yeah. No, chat has pointed out I make more money playing video games. It's, you're probably right, chat. At this point, I think I probably do. Do uh, uh, the parents at, like, your kid's school, do they know what you do? Um, yeah, I mean, some, like, not, like, all of them, because, like, I kind of, like, I know some of them to say hello, but, you know, you know, like, you know the parents of, like, your kid's friends a lot better, right? Because, like, yeah. they might come over for, like, a birthday or something like that. So they, they tend to know, yeah. Um, and they, they seem to think it's pretty good. It's very much, like, a lot of kids watch a lot of this stuff now, right? Like, yeah. So they're aware of it, but I think they're always kind of surprised that somebody as old as I am does it. Because it is kind of like typically younger people who are doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Or at least the younger people are kind of a lot more popular, it feels like. Yeah, There's I definitely mean, exceptions to that. but Oh, for sure. I think that it's like a wide range. But the way I look at it is if there's someone who like looks like you doing it in yeah. any regard, then it's doable. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, there could be a, another dad out there that's just getting started. Like, oh, Sips is doing it. I can do it. You know yeah. what? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I I encourage any dad to do it. But don't for one minute think that you're a better... You have outdated me either. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm kind of competitive with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, not, you, some of your buddies' friends' dads may have an account, but you're like, they're not. They're yeah. not. They're not. Yeah. You're not doing sip. What do you stuff. get, like five viewers? I mean, come on, jeez. <laughs> Dad shaming on you. Yeah, just, just, yeah, shaming other dads for trying to live the dream. You know? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, yeah, no, like they, they seem pretty cool. But what about you? Like, do you, do you have friends who know what you do, and are they kind of like, what the hell, Dan? What are you doing? Or are they all like pretty supportive? No, I have a gauge, right? So if I meet someone, my wife has a really big family, and I have this gauge. And I'm like, right. okay, if I think they'll understand, I'll tell them. If not, I'll just say something else. You right, know? right. I mean, I, I kind of do that too. I don't always just open up with, hey, play video games. <laughs> you know, like if somebody's really serious or I feel like they're maybe older, like much older than me and they just won't get it and I don't feel <laughs> like explaining it, I just say, oh, I just do media production or something like that, you know, like. Which is very true. It is true, yeah. yeah but it's just like, t like traditional media production is making those like really corny um corporate videos and stuff right which yeah. i would love to do but i i don't actually do you should do one for your twitch channel yeah i should i have you seen my uh youtube um channel trailer it's old I ha how long is it uh it's it's long way longer than it should be but it's got some really good special effects especially at the start there's like some explosions and stuff it's pretty good I may and it's after we're done here, I think I'm going to react to it because I've never oh, seen it. Okay, yeah, watch it. It's uh, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's like my channel trailer for my YouTube channel. Um, are, you, are you doing a voiceover on it, or is it just yeah. natural, organic? No, effect? there's some live action, and then there's some, like, voiceover stuff, like gameplay footage and stuff. Okay. But... Um, if, you, if you're thinking, like, that you're, you're not, like, that excited... Uh, the music that I used in it is the NBA Jam music, so, okay. yeah. Is it DMCA certified? We're okay? I get it's on YouTube, so, like, I, it's probably just not monetized, but it's an old, it's like, I made it, like, eight years ago or something, so, um, it's just been up there for a long time, and I don't think the people who make NBA Jam really care that much, so. It's like, a, like, the 8-bit NBA Jam music. Like way Got back it. in the day. Yeah. yeah, I can still hear that in my head. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Uh, Evan Johnson, I... Charles Barkley, Alonzo Mourning, uh, Larry Johnson. I, I can I can see a lot of those teams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Charles Barkley was he was a really big deal. Yeah. Have you ever seen him golf before, though? It is one of my favorite golf swings to watch in the entire world. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was talking about Charles Barkley not too long ago and chatter like... Look up his, like, a driving montage of Charles Barkley playing golf. 
And I just figured, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, he's really good at basketball, so he's probably really good at golf. Wow. <laughs> I was, uh, gosh, I was, I was surprised. <laughs> I think I can play golf better than him, which is... Do you play golf? I, I mean, I'm... I've never really played a full game of golf, but for s somehow I've been to the driving range many, many times. I actually have like a decent drive as well. I can actually hit the ball and not look like really dumb doing it. You know what I mean? It's because you have dad strength. I feel like once you become a dad, your your inherent strength, although it may not change your physical appearance, is 5x. 5x yeah. Is what it was pre. I th I think so. But like, we had a um. In, uh, in phys ed at school, uh, our teacher was really into golf, and he mm -hmm. did he did like a whole module on like, he took us to the driving range like a couple of times, like in we would car? just be, we no, no, like on a bus, like it was like okay. an organ, <laughs> so it wasn't like, <laughs> no, no. Um, and like, um, you know, like on the football field, we'd, we'd have tees and we'd be like practicing, like chipping and driving and stuff like that. Like, I, I don't think he was even meant to really teach us golf i think he just wanted an excuse to like practice golf um but I, I feel like it's pretty good because now i can go to the driving range and do some drives and stuff and it's it's one of those things like do you have like do you ever have a thing where you can do something but nobody expects that you'll be able to do it and then you just get those moments where you're like hey check this out and they're like oh yeah fucking wait for it like this he's gonna and then you you do it really well or like at least somewhat competently and they're like whoa i can't believe it can't believe this guy has this ability, you know? That's you with golf. That's me with not golf, not the full game, just the driving range <laughs> somehow. Got I it. No, I I, yeah, I kind of feel that way in Tarkov sometimes. Like people watch me like, you know, how did he hit that shot? Because I'm not very good. But like yeah. every now and then it'd be like getting a 250 yard drive. Do you call it different than 250 yards in the UK? You guys use a different... Uh... Well, I mean, I I don't know if they what do they what do they use in the UK chat? I don't know. Like yards for me, like the only time I would ever use yards is like fo like American football, which I played a lot growing up and I watched a lot growing up. So you still, played American football? Still for me, yards. Yeah, like at school and stuff, and like I like I tried out for a team one time when I was when I was young. I must have been like thirteen or something. I got to the last cut, and then I went on a a family vacation. I missed a whole bunch of practices, and then they and then they didn't let me in. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was because of my lack of ability. Like I could run pretty fast. I was okay. Like I, I was, I had the height and like the build for it. I was like really tall, like growing up. But I think it was just. It's just bad timing, you know? Yeah, as like, as a former American football coach, you take that time away from the team. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm taking a, a less talented kid that is, you know, has been there the whole time. No offense, I'm sure you had you had fun at Wally World. Yeah. But while I, you were having fun I at really Wally World, did, yeah. your teammates were, you know, Well, I mean, it was a bit, and... it was like kind of traumatic because the whole time I was there, I was worried that I wasn't going to make the team. And I kept saying to my parents, like, can we just like go home? And they were like, no, 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 we're on vacation. And uh, sure enough, we got home and disappointment once again. <laughs> <laughs> you knew your intuition was right. You're I know. Like, All my friends are, are, you know, sweating and, and, you know, doing not fun stuff. That's and I want to yeah. be there. Yeah, it was it was pretty exciting, though. Like, I remember going to like uh, sort of like our local community center to pick up my practice gear. Uh -huh. So it wasn't like team branded. It was just like, you know, uh, like temporary co colors and stuff yeah. like that. And um, yeah, it was good. I was uh, I was I, I was trying it out to be a left outside linebacker, which uh -huh. I don't remember what they do. But uh, at you, the time, I remember it. You got to be tough and have some speed and be able to play in open space. So yeah, like, maybe that's why skill. I got cut. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe How that's tall why I didn't you? make it. Six two, six three ish. Okay. Like pretty tall, yeah. You never played basketball? Mm mm. Again, I grew up playing it like with my friends. Like most of my, most of my friends. Like we grew up in the suburbs, right? So it was fairly common for people to have basketball nets like above their garage or whatever. We would play like, and then we had like public courts like at parks or whatever we would play a lot of basketball i just never like played it i never tried out for a team what or whatever turned like, you from this american yeah, football have. playing athletic chat to i mean do you ever think if you didn't Garage get cut from football was it the smoking or was it the video right games like you could be 
in the Super well, Bowl in a couple weeks. When I when I got cut from football, uh, I had a lot more time to play a lot more video games, and maybe getting cut from the team was like the best thing that could have happened. You know? uh-huh. Developed a deep, passionate love for video games, and now here I am playing them all the goddamn time. So. Do you remember, you know, after you got the devastating news, you didn't make the team? Did you like turn to like Tifa and Final Fantasy VII to like ease the pain, or what did you? What did you? No, play? no, it wasn't anything like that. I was, I was old enough to, um, sort of be like, well, I didn't want to get on the team anyway, and then I went <laughs> and smoked like a whole pack of cigarettes behind the bike shed. So, um, at age thirteen. Yeah, yeah, You're it was like at thirteen. Yeah, yeah, it was like that's high. The high school I went to was just like that. It had a smoking section and everything. It was just really easy to get into that stuff. It I mean, wasn't was even peer pressure. It's just we, yeah, we 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 left like elementary school when we were like thirteen, and then went into high school. Started mixing with all these other schools and like bad apples and stuff. And next thing you know, boom, just a full time smoker like. Uh, I used to smoke a lot, actually, way more than I ever should have. In school, in your high school? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. What? Like between classes, yeah. <laughs> what? This no. was like ninety-three you're, you're or something. That's oh, yeah, the first no. sips lie. No, it's not. I remember. I I distinctly remember. Like you'd finish a class and then you'd have like five minutes to get to the next class. We'd run into the smoking section and quickly smoke, and then off to the next class. Like <laughs> it was just the way it was. Yeah, just the way it was. I think we're like, I mean, close to similar in age, but like that's sound in the, the U.S. That's like happened in the '70s, and then yeah. the '80s that was gone. Right. I mean, for us, it was like late '90s when they started phasing all that out. Um, <laughs> what did your parents say about like they were just cool? They, like, yeah, take a smoke break. I played wide receiver. Well, I don't think they really knew. Not I mean, they could, could smell it on now. me, but I don't think they knew like the full extent of it. You know what I mean? But yeah, like we at uh, like we would spend a, a massive amount of our time standing in a parking lot waiting for people to go into the convenience store and like begging them to buy us like cigarettes and alcohol or whatever else we needed at the time sort of thing like it was just uh, it's just i don't know i don't know if it's like a cultural thing or something but it's just wait so so you could not buy the cigarettes but you could legally smoke them in school yeah well, yeah, like I said, there was like this massive smoking section out at the back of the school. <laughs> they had like picnic tables out there and everything it was amazing. Was and, the like- lo- and the place I used to work at, the first job I ever had was at this grocery store and um, like upstairs in the office. Like so if you were, if you had like uh, the right manager on in the evening and you worked in the right department, you could take your breaks up there in the office. And they, that was like a smoking area as well. You were allowed to smoke up there. <laughs> Like nowadays, there's no way you'd ever be able to smoke inside anywhere, right? But like back yeah. then, it was it was a lot looser, you know. Like the I guess the regulations just hadn't come in. But I mean, like I remember going to like we'd go to like uh, restaurants, like you know, like uh, we'd go like get Chinese food buffet or whatever. And they had smoking areas. Subway used to have a smoking area, or like I mean, they're small. Subway restaurants are really small anyway, but I used to be able to smoke in there. I used to be able to walk around the mall and smoke as well when I was a teenager in what? Quebec, which wasn't what, too far uh, away from where I lived. So, What was your brand? Do you have a brand that you preferred? Du Maurier. Du Maurier Lights. That's definitely very, Canadian. Very I've never sophisticated, heard. yeah. And players sometimes? I don't know if that's... What are the American brands? Like Lucky Strike and Marlboro and Camels, I guess, and stuff like yeah. that? Or are yeah, those still cool. around? I don't even know. I, I, you know, I'm not one to ask about smoking, but yeah. they sound right. Yeah, I think that's probably right. I don't know. American Man, Spirit. Man, that is like... You gotta Weird. wake up pretty early in the morning to say, like, to shock me, and you shock... The school, like, I get smoking in malls and restaurants and stuff yeah, back yeah. then, but in school... That's yeah, like, no, we just like, I mean, it was outdoors, like you had to go outside. Um, and, you know, Canadian weather being as it is, it wasn't always pleasant or whatever. But yeah, no, it was like, I mean, you go out there and there'd be teachers back there, <laughs> too. <laughs> like, just because because uh, at our, our at our high school, we had like, um, I mean, maybe NL knows about this because he grew up in Ontario as well. But like. You had um, the sort of precursor like uh, credit system for university, which is like mm. you were you were kind of like 19, 20 years old uh, doing that. So like there were adults like at our school as well. So maybe that's why. I don't know. Wait, but there were adults mixed at in our with high the school. Kids? Yeah. 
yeah, well, I mean, not mixing with the kids. I mean, like high school for us was like sort of like 13, 14 to about like 18 or 19. Like the, you'd have that was like the mix. Right. So like seniors and stuff would be like quite a bit older. But you need to be you only need to be 19 to buy cigarettes and uh, and drink in Ontario. So, yeah, kind of like adults, you, I guess. Did you go to 13th grade? Because I know Canada has 13th grade. That's what that's what I'm talking about. 13th grade was was uh, what, what, what we would call OAC. So it was like Ontario academic credits. So it was like the the sort of like you had to have, you had to do OAC to get into university. So like the university and college system in, in Canada is a little bit different. College, anybody could go to. You, you just have to pay tuition by the books and go. University, you had to qualify to get into university. And part of qualifying to get into university was... A, having good grades, and B, having enough OAC credits to get into it as well. Uh, did you go to university yeah. or did you go to the college? I went to college. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I did not do a OACs. Like, I was just like, I wasn't like, I was, I was academic at a push, but like, I, I did not apply myself at all. What does at a push mean? Um, like, you know, like when it came down to it, like if, if I needed to pass, I could like pull it out of the bag sort of thing, like at the last minute. But um, but generally, no, like I never tried or did my homework or or anything, really. It wasn't your priority. We're like a classic underachiever, I guess. But you had I mean, if you're a programmer, you had the skills to pay the bills. Well, I mean, I learned how to program at college and then but college was like hands on. Right. It got you ready for for work sort of thing. So like <laughs> you you end up learning like a ton on the job, too. Right. Because, like, they sort of teach you, they teach you, like, a language and the theory, and then you have to just apply that to whatever sort of language you're going to be using at whatever job you get, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, like, I when I started working at the bank, uh, we were using, like, this really, really old language for mainframe systems, which they wouldn't have taught in college, right? Because it's just like... Was it on the punch cards? It was based off of punch cards, yeah. It's like That's old IBM mainframes, yeah. Uh, did it have like the green screen and like the syntax? Yeah, yeah. it was all that. Yeah, and it, and it used to do like uh, we used to have like batch processing. So like every night there would be like this massive mat massive what we just called it the batch because it was like a huge batch of processes that would run, and so from start to finish this thing was just like this labyrinth of different programs that would run to like calculate interest make payments make this do that contact this part of the world do that there was like thousands and thousands of programs that would just run in this specific sequence and every night it broke oh fuck it was unbelievable <laughs> and it all ran out of hong kong so i used to get called in the middle of the night by uh by people in hong kong and i so i'd have to log in and i'd have to like investigate what went wrong and debug stuff and put in like patches and stuff to make sure that things worked and everything. It was interesting, but really annoying as well. So and you would, be, you would like, be the guy that would patch the bugs out? Yeah, kind of like on the fly too, which is kind of weird. But you, you just, you, you'd have to, you'd have to make sure that the batch ran, because otherwise the next day would be a nightmare. Like you know, there you'd just get customers calling all the time saying. Well, where's my interest and what happened with this and what so you'd have to sort of put in quick fixes to make sure that the batch process finished because it had knock-on effects with other stuff and then um and then you'd spend the whole next day or week analyzing it in like a test environment to like fix it properly sort of thing and that was like my whole job that's all i did i have a minecraft question for you can i dump this milk in anything uh you can drink it you can dump it into your gullet but is there like somewhere I can put it on display, like in a brazier thing? Uh, you can make a uh, like an item frame. It's kind of like a like a, a like a picture um, frame sort of thing, but you need leather for it. I think there uh, might be some leather in here actually. But you know what I'm talking about? It's called like a brazier. It's like something you can dump lava into. Oh, um, blazier. I, I don't know if you can make them. I. I I think you just have to dump it into like I think you'd have to like make that yourself. I don't know if there's an item oh. that you can put lava into. What's uh, a it's like a yeah, or a cauldron? Can I like is there anything like that? I can't I don't dump know it. If, I don't know if there's cauldron. Is there? Oh yeah, no, there is a cauldron. Can you put milk in it though? 
I think you can only put water in a cauldron. I'm not sure. A brassiere or a brassiere. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. There is a cauldron though. I mean, you could try to make a cauldron. I think we. I think you need iron for it or something. Did you know if you click on the uh, crafting bench, mm -hmm. there's like a little green book next yeah. to. Uh, if you click on that, you can do a search. So like, uh, col 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 cauldron cauldron. Oh, maybe we don't have the. Uh, maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Do you, for, does this every recipe, or you kind of have to like find them? You have to find them, but so like sometimes you have to make an item first before you can col col cauldron. Whoops, I was spelling it wrong. Cauldron. Oh, there it is. Cauldron. Yeah, it's just iron. Do you want me to make one? Yeah, yeah. Let's see okay, if we can. Yeah. I'm gonna see if we can dump it in there. It's right next to the um. The, sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I just told you I didn't go to university, so on, I I, I, I can't spell either. It turns out. Lost my milk. You lost it. Yeah, like, I mean, I drank it, but oh. I lost my milk source. Maybe that's more accurate. Your source of milk. Yeah. So what are your plans for today? Are you just going to play some Tarkov? So Tarkov, and then, um, so Ryan and I do this thing on Tuesdays called the Golden Egg Challenge Series. Oh, where we, yeah. We have a gaming challenge. So we lost last week, so I have to give a book report live on Twitch about a specific speed run since we lost. And um, why do you think you lost? It was Minecraft, wasn't it, last week? Yeah, we tried to do a two-hour Minecraft speedrun in top in the hundred, placed in the top 100 spots in Minecraft or speedruns.com, right. and we fell a little short. Okay. So. And so, like, will you do like a different challenge this week after the book report, or is the whole show just going to be you doing your book report? No. So usually, like, if we win, there's no consequence if we lose there is so we'll do our consequence and then we'll get into the next game right and what so the, is the consequence the book report yeah all oh, right right which like and so I, I was a little salt not salty but like i could have spent more time on dad craft but i'm like man i gotta do this book report and then i re remembered what homework is like you know yeah and it sucks right like it's, yeah, it's not actually fun. the worst no nobody wants to do it like but, um I barely ever did it, and then I used to get in trouble for not doing it. It's just the way it goes, you know? Did you pipe back at your teachers, or were you just quiet? Like, you didn't mess with your teachers? Um, I wasn't, like, I wasn't overly sort of, like, I wouldn't say I was confrontational as a student. You know, mm -hmm. like, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't egg on a teacher or whatever, but I was uh, probably annoying. Like, I was the guy, I, I was disruptive, right? Like, I would talk a lot when I shouldn't, or joke around when I shouldn't and, and stuff, you know, like I used to get kicked out of class a lot. So I like I'd have to like spend time sitting in the hallways and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and I look back now and I think like, why did I do that or whatever? I mean, it was kind of fun, you know, like it was just like, you know, like those times when you're in class and you get like you get the giggles, you know, you know, you shouldn't be laughing and you're just like laughing like crazy. Like I know that all too well. There's just lots of that, you know, like it wasn't like I wouldn't say it was like malicious, like I wasn't mean or anything like that. I was yeah. just not engaged. You know what I mean? I was just like more interested in just like farting around, like making jokes with my friends and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Because I, I'm a, I was a former teacher. I can like those kids I'm, I, I can I can get with, you know, what I mean, like I yeah. can get around that. But the kids that were like outwardly just disrespectful. Yeah, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't be like, you know, I wasn't like that kid that would be like, would you say to me, like, do you know who my dad is or anything like, you know, I wasn't like that at all. Like if if a teacher yelled at me, I'd just be like, oh, shit, like, you know, I guess I'm going out in the hallway. But like, I wouldn't contest it. Like, I wouldn't fight against it. Like, I, I realized like what I was doing wasn't like ideal, but it was I just couldn't, I just couldn't yeah. help myself, you know, yeah. just wanted uh, to have some fun. Is this uh, the official garden area or is this just random? Uh, it's just random just because I was worried that we were going to run out of food. So I just grew some stuff there just for now. Okay. But um, is there a place where I can put like a, do you have like an official garden area or an area you'd like to put a? No, farm? I'm just trying not to put stuff in inside the perimeter of where this like base is going to be, which okay. it's got to be said. We've done a really good job of clearing out. Look at this. It's coming Looks together. Great. Yeah. yeah so so basically, it's the only we we're almost done, huh? I mean, just yeah, just got to clear out a bit more, and then I can start putting like the uh, the sort of like framework around for where the circle is going to be, and then 
once that once like the sort of core round thing is down then we can sort of figure out what we're going to put on the side like if we want to like build outwards or if we want to build stuff inside or or what you know what i mean so basically you want a 90 degree angle from to be cleared out so like from here is this yeah. right so, so like here all the way over yeah or no here all the way over yeah might as well and then lined up with the other one but then got it. it's gonna curve but it's got space to curve you know what i mean like, got it but it, so if we do 90 degree way. it's fine yeah just perfect because like we can just fill it back in with whatever after if we want to or just you know uh clear out more around like where like the outer sort of ring is you know this is i mean there's some serious progress yeah no, I mean I've been I've I've only been on here a couple hours today and uh I, I'm loving what I'm seeing already. It's only gonna get better, you know? Hey, there's only one small problem. Oh wait, it may be saved. What's the, that? The ivory petals. Oh sh yeah. It looks like it's just outside the dome yeah, wall. It will be, yeah, it will be just outside. Yeah. Cause look if if you're gonna do the 90 degree angle you'd be doing it on this yeah so it'll just be outside but i think eventually we will want to clear that as well but what, what about we don't have to do it straight though? away because um there's a thing in minecraft called enchanting so like you see the the level um the the number at the bottom of your screen like right above your toolbar yeah yeah um when you get to above level 30 because so to enchant stuff you spend xp right so like mm -hmm. i'm level 28 right now if i want to enchant some stuff i have to spend my xp to enchant it but the enchants that you could put on like you can enchant a pickaxe to like mine faster or uh. you can get an enchant called mending which means that like at the cost of xp you can repair your tools which is like i thought that was all really mod good. stuff that's all no no that's stuff. all oh. vanilla stuff yeah enchanting there's tons of like vanilla enchanting uh, you can enchant like a fishing rod. You can enchant your sword, your your armor, and stuff like that. It's really good. Oh, do you want some armor, by the way? Uh sure. If if you got extra, don't, oh, don't waste I... any good materials. Though I'll I'll take your old. I'll take your hand me downs. No, no. Here, I'll make you. I can make you a hat and probably some boots, which should tide you over for a bit. Oh, I have I have a hat. Oh, you made a gold hat. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's my construction hat. <laughs> no, that's. Very good. Here, take these boots at least. I'm right behind you. Thank you. I'll put the I'll put the rest of these materials in the box here. I gotta go because I gotta do um yeah, yeah, good luck. lobby. But um I'll put all my materials in here. So if you guys are on later or whatever, there's diamonds, there's like all sorts of stuff. Feel free to use whatever. I, I do feel like knowing Ryan a little bit, I, I would and it would probably would have to come from you, I would just maybe say whatever area you wanna protect because He's like uh, probably chaotic good. Like he that's, he may he may build something in the middle, which is you know. Do you know what? That's fine. I feel yeah. like it's it's a collaborative thing, right? If he wants to build something, well, we can just work around it. Like kind of like the portal. It wasn't in the best spot, but we made it work. Now now look, you know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. It's the centerpiece now. So we'll just so we, clean up Ryan's mess. Is kind of what you're saying. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. We'll just like we'll just we'll just clean it up every single day. Like, if he's on tonight and he makes a, a, a mess, I'll clean it up tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sims. Good luck, man. Thanks, man. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you soon. We should, uh, we should try to play some Tarkov, like, at some point this uh, week as well, if you're I'm up in. for it. I'm um, in. I think I got lobbies uh, today, tomorrow, Thursday, but I might be free on Friday if you're around. Uh, but okay, if not, cool. we can always do it next week. All right. Sounds good, man. All right. Peace, Dan. See, See you later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Um... There, we did some actual, well, we did solo dad craft chat, but we actually did some dad craft with a fellow dad. Good stuff. It's always.